Hello Capricorn, welcome to your weekly reading. This reading is for Sun, Moon and Rising Sign Capricorn. And if you have any personal questions, then you will need a personal reading. And you can visit my website, katietarot.com, and book your personal reading with me there. So, uh, Capricorn, let's take a look at what is going on for you this week energetically and see what Spirit has to say about the energies coming towards you this week, the energies around you this week, Capricorn. Remember, it is a general reading, so please take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't resonate for you. And... Uh, Capricorn, Capricorn, energies for Capricorn. Okay, the world. So there could be a transition that you're going through. There could be a big change. You may be coming into some fruitful energy, actually, Capricorn. You may be beginning to see the fruits of your labor uh, come into full bloom. So something you've been working on, you may be able to capitalize on this or you may be completing something and moving on to something completely new like I said it does feel like a transformation or transition for some of you and we've got the eight of wands energy so the time is right for this the time is right for you to move on into a different energy you may be searching out something new or something different this week or maybe for the longer term Capricorn so keep that in mind when you go about your business you may get an opportunity come towards you this week um, Capricorn, so keep your eyes peeled for that. And it may come in the shape of a person. Let me just see what other card is coming up here for you. Ah, there we go. There's that other person. So we have the King of Cups. So a person may come towards you, give you information, or give you um, an some of you may be giving you an offer, uh, but it does seem to be that there is some kind of change that's happening here. It's the right time for this to come towards you. It could be a water sign uh, person. Um, so it could be a, a Scorpio, Pisces, or a Cancer. Could be also part of your chart as well. Always remember that. Um, but I feel something's coming to a person. Uh, information is important this week to move you forward into a new area of your life. Something new, completely perhaps. Uh, now we have the Hangman, and it is reversed. So. You're moving past this energy. You know, hangman upright, you know, you feel like you're a bit stuck and things aren't moving. The world means things are moving and you're moving from this hangman energy. If things have felt like you were treading water or things are just not moving very fast, you know, this week we have um, some energy here coming in and things are going to start to shift. So it may just be that extra bit of information that you needed that you're going to get this week to move yourself out of the position that you're in into something that's better for yourself let's take a look at another card king of swords uh, we do have you thinking more uh, thinking more logically rather than in your emotions a king of swords can mean that you have advice from outside person king of cups can also mean that as well so that may be the case for some of you i am getting a sense that there is an energy of um you cutting away from cutting away from the past or cutting away from something it's not it is a transformation something this is quite a big change you know we've got two major arcana cards here so it has been going on for quite some time it might be a person might be an air sign um, Gemini Libra or Aquarius uh, but your emotions are not as involved as your mind in this decision. I'm also getting a strong sense of you knowing that this is the right thing for you to do. The King of Wands. King of Wands is reversed. Um, there's just a warning here for you, Capricorn, to make sure that with your uh, direction that it is done in a balanced way. Okay, so I feel that this is where these other people, these other people are coming in here with information to help you make sure you have a good sense of direction. Otherwise, you might get a bit muddled in the energy. So just be aware of that. And the Sun, and the Sun is reversed. I'm going to pull another card on that. Saying this one here, Ten of Wands. Okay, so, so they're showing me the situation that you have been in or, or are in currently and you're moving away from this energy. Um, you don't need to keep on pushing. It feels like you're kind of pushing this energy forward and you don't really need to do that because the sun's going to be upright for you. 
kind of trust spirit on this and let this go um, because there is an unhappiness energy with the reversed of the reverse sun and the ten of wands means it's been a bur something's been a burden for you you're moving on from that the world is about completion you're starting to see some benefit coming through and um, it's coming through other people this week and you're taking your heart out of it and you're thinking very logically you're thinking very effectively this week about things it could be more of a minor thing for you as well for some of you it might not be a major thing for some it might just be this week you're starting something new or you're completing something there is um, an energy of um, spirit saying there's been some procrastination for some of you and that's kind of been blocking your happiness so you're going to be working through those energies and you won't be doing that this week as much the queen of cups energy there's a comfortable energy here for you so if you are procrastinating about something then once you stop doing that once you get on top of things you're going to feel very comfortable and happy emotionally with what's going on and there we go we've got the nine of cups which is that satisfaction and happiness and emotionally you're going to be back on board with things after kind of sifting through things this week in more of a logical way more of a, a way that isn't connected to your emotions kind of dealing with things that need to be dealt with and then you're feeling emotionally content and happy I feel more by the end of the week but um, we've got some good energies coming through for you very productive energies this week Capricorn so those are the energies that are coming through for you. I hope you all have a great week ahead and I'll talk to you all again soon.